hey guys if you have watched my previous video I'm sure you already know what app we are trying to develop we're going to develop a car booking app using react native so in this video I'm just going to show you how to set up the development environment so basically this is what you need for Mac you need brew installed and for Windows you need choco these are package managers that you use to install Node, Python 2 for Windows, JDK 8, and for and for Mac you install Node and Watchman. And one thing also you should not on Windows you can only develop for Android. On Mac you can develop for both Android and iOS. So for for Windows you can download Android Studio. All this is documented on React Native website. I'll show you the website just now. But for now, let me just show you what we are trying to build. You can, again, you can go and watch the video of this app in action in my previous video. I'll leave the link in the description. So, the user enters their pickup location. They enter their drop-off location. The app will give you a price code. When the user clicks book, the app will send in a request to the driver. When the driver confirms the request, the app will display this uh, this view, displaying the distance of the driver away from the from the passenger. Then after that, if you click next, the, the passenger can start tracking the driver's location as the driver comes to to pick him up. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge on React JS. Everything in React Native is almost similar to React JS. We are using components. As you can see at the top here, we are importing React from React and we are, we are importing app registry which is used to register the component, text which, uh, which is used to display, to display text view which is used to display views. The, the difference here is we are not using divs. In this case we are using views okay so we are exporting a default class called text app which extends from the component package and down here as you can see we have app registry and we are registering the component this same class that we wrote here then we have a callback function and we enter the text app again okay so let's start next thing that we want to do is open react native documentation And you click on getting started and as you can see they have a very good documentation they explain how all these components work and everything and all the things you need to set up on Windows and on Mac like I like I showed you before on Windows you cannot develop for an, for iOS you can only develop for Android and you need you need to use chocolate to install all these packages okay we are going to be working on Mac, so I have Brew installed already. So you just need to follow all these steps. So we will need to install React Native CLI globally. So let's start by doing that. So I'm going to run npm install global react native cli don't forget to write cli you can install react native like this but we want to use the cli command line interface okay so i'm going to install it globally and one thing you might get is an error if you do like if you're on a mac if you don't write sudo i'm trying to install something globally i didn't write sudo then i'll get this error so what you want to do is just prefix npm with sudo and enter your password okay and and my installation is successful I, I installed it before so that's why it's fast like this it might take some time for you one other thing you want to install is uh, yarn 
Jan is used to initialize the project. So what you need to do is npm install global. You can type dash dash global also if you want. Jan. I, I have it installed already so I won't be running this command. So after you have done that, the next thing that you want to do is we want to create our project. To do that, we run react native init, then the name of our project. We're going to create taxi app. You can give it any name you want. But I, I think you should follow the name the naming I'm giving because we are creating a taxi app together, okay? As you can see, yarn is being used to initialize the project. So if you don't have yarn installed, you might get some error here. This might take some time, so I might have to cut through this video. Uh, our project has been initialized. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to run it. So I'm going to cd into taxi app and I'm going to run react native run iOS. If you want to run on Android, you have to write run Android. Yeah? If you do like this, it will run the package and also run the app on the emulator this will take some time so let me just open our project using sublime text you can use any text editor of your choice you can use atom or visual studio code anything you want i'm using i'm going to be using sublime i'm going to open my project is in here okay so as you can see we have two folders we have Android this is where all the compiled Java code for Android goes okay we're not going to be touching this folder a lot in iOS we have objective C code <coughs> which is compiled it goes in here we are going to be working with with JavaScript and this is the index for iOS and index for Android as you can see, these are just normal React.js components. Like I showed you before, we are using React, importing it from React. And we are using all these other things we are importing from React Native. And we have a render here. This is a React.js lifecycle method. The only one which is required, actually. Yeah, as you can see, our app is running already. It says, welcome to React Native. This is the same text that we have here. I can actually change this to hello world and save and you don't see the change here why because we need to enable live reload so I have to on my keyboard I enter command D and I enable live reload now if I go back here and save again you see it says hello world so usually what I what I want to do I create all my components inside all my react native stuff it will be inside a folder called source you can call it whatever you want app or whatever but I usually call mine source src just create a new folder here sorry I think I mistakenly closed this. Okay, so I'll create a new folder inside here and I'll call it source. Inside this, I'm going to create a new component, new file. So I'm just going to call it main.js. Side here, I'm going to import React from React 
I'm going to import review and also text from React Native. Then from here we're just going to create a normal react.js component so we do this by saying class oh it already completes it for me class I'm going to call it main it extends from react dot component they don't need all of this so from here I'm going to need the render method again or render method be render and I'm going to return the view inside here so I'll return the view when we are using react for web this will be a div you have to notice that the same rules apply you you need to wrap if you're going to have multiple multiple elements inside here you need to wrap them inside one element like one div will be the outside wrapper but for now I'm just going to put a text going to close this I'm just gonna write hey taxi app and hit save so if I come back here to index.ios I'm going to remove everything that we have here I'm going to import our component at the top here import main from slash main close this come back here and do main and save I think we have an error yes why because we forgot to export this so I need to close this So down here you need to write export default main you can do it at the top also you export default then you write the class name but I prefer to put it here and then you save if you come back here you see we have our hey taxi app so it's taking it from this component that we just created but it's outputting it here so what we can do is we can just copy Control A, copy this whole code that we have here. Control A and paste it inside index Android and save because the same code, so all the components that we'll be having will be having in here will be used both for Android and iOS. So you write once and it runs everywhere. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up native base and uh, redux so see you in the next video thank you bye